Hi, this is Cindy DeCiani with Remax Dateline, and I'm back again today to talk real estate. I get asked all the time of what kind of inspections are involved when you buy a home. Well, you know what? The answer is it depends. And I know you're probably thinking, it depends? Why? Well, guess what? It depends on the house. Because each home is different, and each has different needs to be able to check. First and foremost, you want to do the basics of the the uh, whole house. And that whole house is going to cover mechanical items, structurally the condition of it, safety uh, and hazards and those type of things, which are all important. And that's going to usually be one inspection. Then there's also from there what's called a wood destroying insects. And that covers carpenter ants and termites. And they're prevalent in our area. We have what's also called another inspection called radon. Radon is a natural, colorless, odorless gas that we don't have any control of. It comes from the core of the earth. But you want to know what the levels are, and there are ways to mitigate for it. There's also what's called a chimney inspection. And, you know, we have different types of chimneys. We have masonry, we have steel flue, zero clearance. So you want to know that if it's been maintained and if there are any issues with it. And, of course, there's stucco. If a home has stucco, there's different type of stucco. So you're going to want to know what type it is, if it's been flashed properly, is there moisture behind it, but really the most important is what is the levels of the humidity, because, you know, we do live in a very humid community normally. Of course, another type is going to be, obviously, mold, which is going to be something. There's going to be septic, if you live on a septic and not in a city sewer area. There's going to be swimming pool, if the house has a pool. So the list can go on and on. So again, it all depends on the house. So, for now, that answers type of inspections. We'll come back and we'll talk about what happens afterwards. Till then, we'll see you soon.